Hi, this is Sherry Veronica, and with me in studio tonight is Patricia Benedict, and she wants to give a update of a recent uh, meeting. Not really meeting, meeting, but she did uh, walk by someone, and she is made to feel very uncomfortable in her skin. Okay, so she is here to talk about it, to make a record of it here on my show, so that if something happens, no one you know, would you be surprised because she is talking about it. She is putting it out there. Patricia, welcome into the studio. Yes, Miss Veronica, yes. On the 8th of November, um, I was at the moment in morning time. I was going towards Massey. Now, there are always some people out there drinking and opposite some people out there gamble. I was walking in between. Sluggy is always out there. It's near the police station. I walked past, and he said somebody will get murdered. I was rather upset about that because he keeps on making those threats, and he means it. I went to the police station. I told the officers what Sluggy said, and one officer was laughing. The other one went to get the book, but the one that was laughing had me really angry. And I asked him if he thinks it was funny. When um Mr. Mr. Um when Mr. Um thing heard the commotion, I think his name was um Sergeant Archer, he came outside and asked me, uh, she asked me what was going on. I said to him what Sluggy like, said to me. And he asked me I, I, I he asked me if it's I knew if I knew for a fact Sluggy was talking to me. I said yes. He works for you. He got he got all upset. He told me he um he never dealt with me before. I told him right now I do not feel comfortable in the, the station. He told me I can leave. His name was Sergeant Archer. Okay. When I went uh when I was walking back across the road to the same direction I came to the uh, walk past to the same place like he was sitting, I saw this gentleman and I said and I explained to him what happened. He told me Sluggy just got into a vehicle because he had a knife with him. So he jumped in a vehicle and drove over. So he knows what he's doing, Miss Veronica. Okay. And Sluggy always, like like Colin Anderson, Colin, the, he always walks with a weapon. Okay. Always. That bag he has, he always has a weapon. I, I, I went home and I rang up the police station. And I said to him, I said to the gentleman, um, it wasn't funny. That you were laughing. I didn't know if it was him directly, but um, we, he, he said his um, badge number, so he would, would tell he would be able to tell the authorities who who um, was laughing. I would say this, Miss Veronica. The police knows where Sluggy is. 1677 Williams, who gambles opposite where Sluggy to sit down, knows who Sluggy is, and could arrest Sluggy there any time. Sluggy is always in St. Lawrence Gap, Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, during the days at Cove Nightclub. I don't know why Mr. Herman let him back in there. They know where he is. Now, I am giving the police a week to have, because I went to the court today. I went, I asked a reliable source today on the 8th, today is the 8th. I asked him, has Sluggy been charged? Because yeah, last night, Mr. Archer insisted that he was charged. They told me no, not since recently. So which means, Veronica, Sluggy has not been charged for breaking and entering Jamaican lady place. Sluggy hadn't been charged with complaint. My complaint I had already done a few a month ago, months ago, for him to get charged. And this one. So legally. The ball is in the police court in Owen Boyce and EM branch because those are the people that are allowing them to do those things. It's either legally sluggy or them. Okay. And I you know one more thing. I give them a week to have sluggy charged and sent up to Her Majesty's. Because well, he it's, is not her, it's not her. It's not her majesty. It's not her majesty's. It's not her majesty's anymore since you became a republic. It just does. 
<laughs> well, Miss Veronica, they, they, they told us and Philip, whatever it was, you were <laughs> But I gave, I, Patricia Benedict, gave the police of Old Town and Deputy Commissioner Ian Branch, um, Irwin Boyce, Home Affairs Minister Wilfred Abraham, Inspector Bab, one week to have Sluggy in custody charge, call me up when he's going to court. Call me up when he's charged and when he's going to court. One week or uh, the next email, a meeting with the Prime Minister, AG, Commissioner, with attendance from, uh, from my, my legal team. And I want the presence of Home Affairs Minister Wilfred Abraham, Deputy Commissioners Ian Branch and Owen Boyce, Owen Boyce, Brother John Boyce, and In Inspector Babb and explain to the AG, the Prime Minister and Commissioner, why all the lawlessness is going on. Not only with Sluggy, the lawlessness is going on in, in San Francisco, Miss Veronica. Okay. One week, and okay. they have to call me when Sluggy is in custody and charge. They okay. have one week. Okay. That's it, Miss Veronica. Thank you. This is Sherry Veronica, Naked Departure Radio.